All right, hello everybody and welcome to today's exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. Today we're going to be doing Instagram. Uh, a lot of you might think, well, Instagram has nothing to do with traffic signs, and you are correct. But, on uh, Instagram is just another social media platform, basically. You have YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, those are kind of the, the four I use. And I found out, um, you know, Instagram never was one of my favorite because you always had to use your phone. And sometimes it's frustrating, you, you know, you're sitting at your computer and you go, wow, I got these pictures I took on my vacation or somebody emailed me this picture or you're checking some websites and you go, oh, that's a cool picture. I want to post it on my Instagram page. Well, you got to go to your phone all the time. Well, at least I had to because I didn't know that you could. Um, I've tried using that Instagram on my PC and I never had any luck doing it. So what I found out is this little trick. And I'll go to my Instagram account. Before I go to Instagram account, um, if you like any of my videos and stuff, just look me up, Bob the Sign Man. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm also on Facebook, Bob the Sign Man. And I also have a Pinterest account, uh, Bob Storide. And I do have a little section, Bob the Sign Man, where I post a lot of my videos. And here's where I got to wanting to post a lot of the stuff on Instagram, but I could never get those pictures to Instagram till now. So what I do is there might be a app for your desktop to use Pinterest, but uh, I just found out I just type in Instagram.com and then I bring it up and then I, I can drag the little icon, put an icon anyways. So I launch the Instagram app. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'll log in. And there's my homepage. But it looks a little different on a PC than on your phone because on your phone you have little icons on the bottom here that you know you can add a picture or whatever but if you search this website on your PC there's no way to add a picture till now till I found out a secret way of doing this no, that's not really a secret everybody knows about it well most people I didn't anyways uh, this works on Google Chrome it works on a PC as well as on a Mac you can uh, what you do open up your Instagram account log in and then you're going to um, come up to these three little dots up here in the right hand, upper right hand corner just below the X. Don't hit the X, that'll shut you out. So you want to open those up. Then you want to come down and you want to find more tools. And you want to scroll down and you want to click Developer Tools. So go ahead and do that. Now what you do, or you can hit F12 on your keyboard if you're one of those keyboard people that like all the shortcuts. But I just whichever way works for you. So now what you want to do, as you can see on here, uh, you can just see like your, um, the people that uh, post stuff, you can see their, their feeds and stuff. And like if I click my Instagram, nothing happens. If I click my page here, it just shows the stuff that I have posted. Anyways, what I want to do is I want to go back to the PC Instagram. Okay, you got your developer open. Now see up here where my cursor is? There's the second set of icons to the left. It looks like a little mobile phone there or something. Anyways, you want to click on that. Okay. Now what it's done is it kind of turned it into your, you can see the cursor. And when you take it off the app, it goes back to your cursor here. It's a little round dot. Okay. So then once you have it there, it's kind of shrunk it down in this size of a mobile phone, whatever. Uh, you go up here to the responsive and you want to click that. And you want to pick out what kind of phone platform you want to do this on. I have an iPhone 6 Plus. So I'm going to click iPhone 6 Plus right here. Okay. Kind of shrunk it down to the cell phone size there on your PC. And then after you have that, you still don't have a way to post anything. You want to go up here to your top left-hand corner next to the little home button. See the little circle that says to reload the page? Go ahead and click that. So you're going to reload your page. And then look at what happens. Down here at the bottom, you have all of your stuff like you had on your uh, mobile phone where you can click on to add pictures and stuff. So if you want to um, just get rid of this little um, developer thing up here and it'll expand out your um, Instagram on your PC here. It'll make it a little bit pleasant to look at. I always have a hard time looking at the small stuff. Go ahead and click out that X. Now at the bottom of your screen, it gives you all your options that you had on your mobile phone. Now they're just a little bit bigger. So I can go to my home. I go to my um, 
I can click on my story or whatever. Anyways, so if I want to add new pictures to my Instagram account, in the middle there, there's a little plus. You just click the little plus, and now it brings up wherever you have your picture stored on your um, on your drive. You can like say I have some uh, pictures and folders here, and here's my signs where I have all my traffic signs. Now, if I want to post one of these to Instagram, I can do that. Like I'll double click this falling rock, and just click next. And I want to share that. And there's the falling rock. It's on my um, site now. There it is. It's on my Instagram. And if I was to look on my mobile phone now, it would be on my mobile phone. So I, I find this a lot easier to um, navigate through on my PC sometimes. Like say if I want to add a picture or anything, I can I can do that. So you got your home that you can go to. There's my latest picture that I posted. There's one I posted earlier today. And you can still do your search. Uh, it's still got your favorites. And this one, sometimes I have a little problem with this one. When I hit my profile, it took away all my stuff down at the bottom again. So now I can't get back to the thing. So I just go back up to my developer tools, more tools, developer tools. And that icon, if it's not clicked, you can still click it. And you just reload your page. And all your stuff is back again. Um, I think what happens when you close out the developer tab, it has affects that thing somehow. So I, I usually try to navigate away from that. But like I said, it's easier now to add your pictures on. And I don't find it so frustrating now where I have to go from my, take something from my PC, put it to my phone, then go to my phone, then go back to the computer. And it's like back and forth all the time. So anyways, I found this to be easier to use Instagram. And I'll probably try to start using it a little bit more and um, I hope this helps anybody who's ever had that frustrating problem I know I have so I thought I'd just post this and let everybody know alrighty thanks for watching mm -hmm.